Recently, I've had the opportunity to go out to the Frontenac Outfitters Canoe and Kayak Center to talk to their staff about buying a new kayak. As you know, I'm in the market for a new one and uh, the guys out there really know their stuff. Um, I went out there and filmed a bunch of reviews and test paddled a bunch of new kayaks. So keep watching for the review. So this is the Bite FD. You'll notice it's very similar to the Bite too. However, as you can see here, it has Jackson's flex drive pedal system. So like before, we'll go through the boat from the front to the back. You can see all the similarities and all the differences. So of course, molded handle grips on the back. We've got a nice big tank wall storage area. Most, uh, most kayak crates or homemade kayak crates are gonna fit in the back of here so you can manage all your tackle and stuff and all your gear that you wanna take with you. Flush mounted rod holders. As we get up here to the seat, you see the seat is exactly the same as the, on the bite with the trimmable forward and backwards on this rail system here. Like all the new Jackson kayaks, on the back of the stadium seat here, you see we've got our integrated Molly strapping system. For any of you uh, military people out there or veterans that are used to this, you probably already have a bunch of bags that you can strap to this to stow all your tackle, or whatever else you need for the day. So that's a really nice feature. Got our nice sturdy straps that are gonna be able to carry this boat on the paddle holders, which you have two of here. Again, so you can uh, pick out whatever side you wanna put your paddle on. Even with pedal drive kayaks, you always wanna have your paddle with you just in case something happens to your pedal drive, you're not stranded. We've got our handles here. These are the steering for our rudder on the back, which we'll show later. But you'll notice there's one on each side. So that's a big plus, is that you have ambidextrous steering of the rudder in the back. So whatever you're doing in your kayak, whatever free hand you have, if you need to steer somewhere, you can do it with either your right or your left. So that's a, that's a really big plus. You'll notice that we've got these little slots for the rudder system. So that's when you really wanna go in a straight line and you wanna pedal fast. You can put your steering controls here, lock them into position, and that rudder is not gonna move. These are very sturdy cables. They're not gonna stretch or, or break off on you. You can really motor in a straight line like that. You don't have to worry about drift from, uh, from the back of your boat. This is the rudder. As you can see, it's a very thick plastic. It's not, uh, it's not a flimsy rudder like you see on some boats that are gonna flex a lot while you're uh, trying to steer and uh, if you're going pretty fast. I think that if you're going really fast and you crank this thing either left or right, you better hold on because it probably is gonna throw you off with the, uh, the little amount of flex that's in this. You can tell that Jackson put a lot of thought into this by reinforcing the rudder and making it nice and sturdy. Like most Jackson kayaks, we've got our replaceable keel guard here. Um, if you're dragging this thing on rocks or whatever, this part gets beat up. It protects the hull of your boat and all the plastic, and you just have to replace this little tiny piece. We've got an integrated scupper transducer hole. So that's a good, uh, really good uh, feature. You just slip your transducer in there and up through the scupper hole and you're good to go. You don't have to worry about it getting scraped up on rocks or getting caught on weeds or whatever with this little plastic plate here. Of course, because of the flex drive system and the steering system, there's no molded in cup holders. That's not a big loss. We've got our molded in tackle storage with the bungee here. And then of course we come here to this hatch and this is where the rudder is housed. So this is the Jackson flex drive. This is the new one, the FD3 3D, I think it's called. The pins here that the pedals are attached to and the, and the 3D are actually uh, forged aluminum by, by the looks of it and feel of it. So you've got a lot, more, uh, a lot more pressure power that you can put onto your pedals to give you a, a really good propulsion in the water. Here's our handle for moving the propeller up and down. So we've got three different settings. This is the storage setting, or so when you're moving it or, or stowing it, the propeller is fully up and into the boat. It is completely flush with the bottom of the boat. There's nothing sticking down. So you can drag this thing or, or load it into whatever trailer or truck bed or whatever you want. You're not gonna hurt the, hurt the propeller. We put it down into the next setting. This is the shallow water setting. So if you're, uh, you know, in just a few feet of water, you've got a bunch of weeds coming up or something and you don't need to be going very fast, pop it into this setting and you can still be good to go. Once you get into some open water, then you just pop it into the full setting 
and you get maximum speed. So for now, we're gonna pop this guy back up into the storage setting. And then of course, we've got this little bungee to keep the hatch down. And this hatch is really great because you can just clean out your propeller. If you get weeds or gunk or whatever on here, you don't have to take the whole system out just to clean stuff off your propeller. You just flip this hatch, you can wipe it off, and then back down you go, off to going again. Obviously because of the flex drive system, there's not as much room for standing on the deck of this boat, but I don't think it's gonna make that much of a difference. You'll see here, we've still got our molded in rod management uh, slots here. And of course, large front storage area. On the front here, you have integrated rail systems for all your accessories, whether it's a GoPro mount, rod holders, fish finder mounts, or whatever you want. They can all go right here. In addition to having the benefit of a pedal drive system on your kayak, with the Jackson Byte and most of their FD models, you have the option to use the Jackson Flex E-Drive. So this is just a little portable, uh, a portable motor that just clips right onto top here. You take the pedals off and that just clips right in. And then if you're not fishing in a tournament where you have to, to be uh, angler powered, you're just out for a day fishing, you wanna get somewhere quick, you can throw this bad boy on there and you're gonna get there fast. Cool. Tracking is very good. Like I'm really cruising right now. Turning radius is pretty decent. I can make a nice circle. I'm feeling pretty, pretty stable on here. Just like riding a bike. Let's just test the reverse. So that's one of the benefits of the flex drive is there's no switches you have to do to go in reverse. You just stop and start pedaling backwards. And in reverse you go. So if you need to back out of somewhere quick and you don't want to get your paddle out, you just start pedaling backwards. Very cool. It's fairly silent except for that little squeaking. But like I said, this is a brand new drive fresh out of the box. So it probably just needs to be worked in a little bit. Not something I'd be very concerned about. So let's, uh, let's stand up and see how it does standing. I've never stood up in my kayak before, so. That's very stable. I feel very comfortable. I can rock it side to side, putting a little bit of weight on the right side. Pretty good. Weight on the left side. It has a very, very good, stable feel to it. Feels like a solid boat. Super impressed with this entry-level pedal drive kayak. But while I'm here, might as well do a bit of fishing, right? Got to see how it does while I'm casting. You wouldn't buy a kayak like this if you didn't plan on fishing out of it. So let's, uh, let's have a stand here. I have no idea what the depth is. As somebody who's new to standing in a kayak and fishing, I feel very comfortable. Even if it seems a little rickety, that's also due to my inexperience, but also the fact that I can do it while being as inexperienced as I am, uh, you know, speaks volumes for these Jackson kayaks. They really know how to build just incredible quality boats. Ah, so that's how that goes. So that's pretty cool. I wonder if I can pedal with a rod there. Uh, nope, not really. But that makes it a lot easier if you have to maneuver, do some fine adjustments with your paddle, or uh, you know, whatever you have to do if you're messing with a, with a fish or something like that. You've got a place you can lay your rod that you're not worried about it falling off the boat. Pedaling into the wind feels almost effortless versus paddling into the wind. The steering seems a little weird at first, 
when you're not used to it like I am. But very quickly it becomes natural. One of my issues with my older kayak is that I have a lot of problems turning around to access my stuff in the rear hatch. And uh, you know, right now it's super easy just to turn around and lean and get whatever I want out of here out of the back. So this is really awesome. Even with this wind, I don't feel like I'm rocking at all. It's so easy to get up and so comfortable. It's effortless to stand and fish out of this kayak. Even with some of these small waves coming in and broadsiding this kayak, I barely feel them while standing. Now granted, I'm not seeing white tops or anything here, but there's enough wind and these small waves to, to rock the boat a little bit, but it, you barely feel it. And like I mentioned, you can see down here, this is just a little hatch. Pop that open. You can see the rudder comes right out. So if you got some weeds or whatever hung up around there, like I just did, you just reach down, clean them out. Put it back down and away you go and of course it has this nice hatch so it's not just an open space that you can drop things down so everything's nice and sealed there's no worry about dropping things out of your boat very stable kayak i'm so impressed with this pop that up Very cool. So overall, the Bite FD is a really great option for getting into uh, the entry level of pedal powered kayaks. 